Hello friends, it's Pastor Jen from Seward United Methodist Church. I'm glad to be with you. Um, I wanted to show you some surprises today and read you a story. But first, let's sing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And I know you know that song. Let's do it again. The signs are, yes, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I have a little bag with me this morning, and in my bag I have some surprises. First of all, come close to the screen and see if you can see what this is. That's right. Let me hold it in my hand so you can see how big or small it is. This is a little tiny red apple. And we learned that when the farmers grow the apples, they give them names. And this apple is called a gala apple. Now also in my bag, I have another apple. And you can see in my hand, it's yellow. The farmers call this a golden delicious apple. And when you compare the two, you can see that the yellow apple is much bigger than the red apple. In my bag, I also have a, whoa, very big red apple. This one's got some yellow on the side there, if you can see it, some markings. And this one's called a honey crisp. The farmers named that one honey crisp. So when you hold these apples up together, it's sort of interesting to compare that they're all apples, but they're very, very different. This one is a tiny little gala apple. The one in the middle is a yellow, golden, delicious apple. And the one in the side over here is a big, giant, honey crisp apple. And although they have different names and different colors and different sizes, what we know is they all taste good and God created these apples and God loves them all. And in the same way, God created lots of boys and girls and lots of creatures and lots of grown-ups and God loves them all. And so I have a story to read you today that helps us think about differences between people and how God loves all of us. The story is a Sesame Street book, so you'll recognize some of the characters in this book. It says that if you start looking around at animals and people, we all have very different noses. And you can see, particularly over here, Big Bird has a big yellow nose. It's almost like a big beak on a bird. And over here, Snuffleupagus, and he has a long nose. And then there's people with short noses and big noses and long noses. But it doesn't matter what your nose looks like. God loves us all. And here's some pictures of people playing and one person sneezing because it's one of the things that happens when we sneeze is we have to cover our nose down. Here's the picture of the man covering his nose while he sneezes. We also know that God gave us all different hair. And in the pictures, you can see short hair and long hair and interesting hair. Here's Ernie up here, you know, Bert and Ernie, they have really interesting hair, kind of spiky sticking up here. And some of us have red hair and blonde hair. Some of us have curly hair and straight hair, long hair, short hair. It doesn't matter. God loves us all. And here's a picture of different people and their hair. Over here on this side, Bert and Ernie, and Ernie's, Bert's kind of brushing his hair there just a little bit. So whatever kind of hair you have, God loves your hair and God loves you all. Our mouths are different. Aren't some of those funny pictures? 
Yeah, different mouths. And down here is a little kid. Looks like they've just lost their tooth. And over here must be a teenager because they've got some braces. And, and up here is a man with a mustache. Yeah, so all different kinds of mouths. It doesn't matter. Just like the apples, God loves them all. And we all have different kinds of skin. Some of us have different light skin or brown, beautiful brown skin or bumpy skin, smooth skin. Down here is our skin on our toes. Some of us have freckles, which is wonderful all different kinds of skin, and God loves all the kinds of skin. God loves all the different kinds of eyes. Yeah, big eyes and little eyes, sparkly eyes, and glasses, people with glasses on their eyes. Some of us wear glasses on our eyes. We thought maybe that might be Elmo. Yeah, God loves all of our different kinds. Blue eyes, brown eyes, hazel eyes, green eyes. God loves all of our eyes. And our bodies are different. We have some very tall bodies like Big Bird over here and some very big bodies like Snuffleupagus over here. So whether we have big bodies, short, tall, no matter what, even blue bodies, God loves us and God loves all the different kinds of bodies. And we have different feelings. This person maybe is very surprised. We've got happy. We've got sad feelings. We've got down here looks a little puzzled or maybe angry or confused. All the different feelings. God loves all of our feelings. So even though we're the same in some ways because we're all alive and enjoying this beautiful earth, we have different eyes and mouths and ears and different size bodies and different colors of skin and different eyelashes. And God loves us all. And there we are. So we are all children of God. And if anybody asks you who I am, who I am, who I am, if anybody asks you who I am, tell them I'm a child of God again. If anybody asks you who I am, who I am, who I am, if anybody asks you who I am, tell them I'm a child of God. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you that we have differences in our hair and our bodies, just like the apples are different. And we know that you love each and every one of us very as your very, very special children. And we thank you for that love, and we thank you for each other. And we pray all of this remembering Jesus, our brother and our companion. Amen.